All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna do dog grooming. Very heavily requested video is to show everyone how I do my monthly, <laughs> my monthly dog grooming uh, with Storm. So we're gonna do everything from ear cleaning, from cutting nails, to brushing the teeth, to the dog bath. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys some of the things you're gonna need first. And then also, um, I am going to show you the tip to make it a little bit easier to cut your dog's nails and to uh, clean the dog's ears and brush your teeth if your dog if your dog likes to like be very agitated at those kind of things. There's little tips and tricks that I do to make it a little easier because she does not like her nails cut or her ears messed with really either. So, um, but there's things you can do to make it a little bit easier, and she is ready to go clearly. Hi, pup. I know, you know what time it is because you know that we have to go play first before you get your work done. So first though, we're gonna load up our Versus Canine Advanced Opticoat into our Tupperware container. Not that this is any relevance to anything, but I'm just showing you guys, this is the food that I feed my dog. I've been asked about it a lot. Here, just uh, extra stuff I like to keep. Little backups of everything. This is a toothbrush and toothpaste. And then I keep in there extra nail clippers and stuff like that inside here. Extra toothpaste. These are the best nail clippers you can get. These are the Miller's Forge. Really, really good. Really sharp. But I already have a pair out. So, here, a couple of things you're going to need uh, get some ear cleaner. This is the one I use. You're welcome to use this if you want or try something else. Uh, a good set of nail clippers. Like I said, the Miller's Forge, they come in large or the small. Uh, these are really good. They're quiet and they're really sharp so you can really get in there and do some fine detail work to the nail. Um, make sure you keep on deck some septic powder to stop the bleeding if you cut a little bit too short. No big deal. Just as long as you don't tear the nail completely out. You should be fine, don't worry. Um, just get some of this. Make sure you always have this anyway. Just if you're somebody who cuts your dog's nails, this is the stuff you'll see the vets when they go real short, they'll apply that on the dog as well. Uh, a cup, just for when you're washing the dog and rinsing off. Uh, shampoo, this is the one that I use. This is oatmeal and tea tree oil. Um, pet shampoo, dry, itchy skin, coconut. It's uh, all natural. Then you're gonna need the toothbrush and toothpaste. This is gonna be the last thing we do. So, uh, oh, and if your dog, if you have a pit bull that gets a lot of rashes under the stomach, you can use new stock. I've said this before in a video. All purpose, uh, this is for horses and canines and you know uh, animals. Uh, you put this stuff on that rash and it'll, it'll go away almost guaranteed. Um, this stuff is amazing basically like a cream that you rub on the dog when they get those pit bulls like to get rashes underneath here she hasn't gotten it ever since i've been using that but uh it is the season to where you know she might rash start rashing out um her nails aren't too bad but we're gonna trim them up a little bit this one can get done so there are a few of them what you want to do is you want to stay away from that pink mama you want to stay away from that pink area of the nail so I don't like to cut them all the way that short this one likes to always get really long and curly you can see it there so we're gonna get trim that one up a little bit brush her teeth which her teeth aren't terrible but I do them each month and her ears which are also not bad but first we're gonna take her outside we're gonna train with her for a little while play with her and get her uh, tired out a little bit because she's got way too much energy and then in this order, we're going to cut her nails, clean her ears, and then give her the bath. Because why would you give the bath first and then cut and clean ears? So, you know, if you cut the nails, then you can clean the nail. And then clean, if you clean, cut the nails and clean the ears, then you can clean the dog and have fresh nails. So what I like to do after everything's over, you can get a blow dryer. I don't have that uh, because it's really hot outside. 
If it's winter time, I'll blow dry her. But um, since it's summer, after we're done, we'll go for about a walk in the nice hot sun. And it'll dry her fur off a little bit. So we'll just use a towel. Uh, but usually, you can blow dry the dog. So get a blow dryer. The Con Air one's the best one. Look at her new super sick leash from Canine Tactical Gear. Badass. All right. And this thing is so sick. Look at that. Sick. All right. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and cut Miss Storm's nails and clean her ears. I would recommend you do this, you all right, pup? On like a, a hardwood floor or do it on top of a, like a table or a desk or something. Just makes it a little bit easier. Uh, doing it on carpet, whatever, just vacuum it up. You're just gonna have to vacuum. But um, yeah, I do it right here in the kitchen. So what I like to do is I just let her, let her realize what's going on, let her sniff the tool. It's not gonna hurt you, baby. Good girl. Make sure you keep treats on deck because you're gonna need to give your dog some treats. So it's gonna be probably easiest to show you on this one. You could see like a little bit of a, the white, that, that white outline. You're just gonna get it right to there. That's all. I'm just snip it. Now these ones are really, really sharp. Good girl, Mama. You want a treat? Come here. So the more like crappy ones you get, that pull. That's what the dog doesn't like. The dog doesn't like when your when your nails get pulled. Good girl. All right. So this one here, you can see it's a big chunk. You can use the little marker that you put up against their paw I don't just use that I just go by eye but this nail is going to be a little bit difficult because it's a curly cue and it's kinda getting too long and once it gets once it gets really long like that it gets really hard to get the tool in there and cut it hope you guys can see this so let's see if we can get that trimmed. We'll try it from an angle. Good girl. Hold on, mamas. Good girl. All right, so the problem is with these nails is they'll dig into her paw and stuff. And you don't want that because that can cause pain when the dog's walking or running. A lot of people get confused when their dogs will have a limp. Um, when it's really just a nail digging into their paw. So a lot of times with the rest of this paw, what I'll do is, because I can't get the tool inside there, is I'll just get a file, like a regular file for, from like a girl would use on her nails, and just file that down a little bit, and that's all you would do with that. And uh, that's pretty much it. You need a little bit too. She's usually okay with these ones. Good girl.
Good girl. That's it. All right, guys, so the next part is her ears. Um, with this, this is pretty easy. This is why I do this first before we give the dog a bath because it can be very difficult to actually clean the dog's ears. So I just get it in there, massage it into the ear, and I'll show you how to do that, and then we'll head to the bathroom, and we will give the bath, and the majority of that dirt by then will loosen up, and it'll start, we'll, we'll come out. And then whatever's left over, um, either probably later tonight or something, I'll just get a Q-tip when she calms down a little bit and is a little bit tired, uh, and I'll go in there with a cotton ball and get whatever's left. Or maybe we'll do it right after the bath just to show you, but generally I do that about it you know, later on tonight just to give her a chance to calm down. It's a lot to take in. Um, so, but then we're also going to brush the teeth. Just kind of massage it in. Good girl. That's all. That's all you do, guys. So you're just going to kind of massage it in your ear. You'll feel it get little squishies and stuff. And that's okay. Let it loosen all up. The dog will, will shake most of it out. And they, they don't like it at first, but once their ears start getting clean, they'll appreciate it because they'll their ears will start itching and all that kind of stuff like that. Hers are really bad, actually. Good girl. Now, actually, this ear isn't bad, but we do need to clean it. Storm. A little bit. We're going to try to do this quick. Good girl. It's okay. Yes. Good girl. I love you, babies. Good girl, mamas. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And just massa massage it in, that's all. They hate it at first, but they're going to love it when you start massaging that ear. Good girl. That's all. Good girl. Alright, so for this part, guys, the dog, she's already in the tub. She doesn't mind it. Have the shampoo ready. Storm! Don't drink the water. Uh, shampoo's ready. Uh, dog shampoo. Little cup. And an old towel just for the ready. But like I said, we're going to go for a walk. And then we're going to finish up brushing her teeth after we get back. So... Washing the dog's pretty easy. You just, it's just, you know, start at the top, work your way down, wash their paws and all that. Use like a medium to cold water. Uh, you don't want it too hot because that'll just dry out the dog's skin. And like I said, guys, this part will help out with the ears. That's why I do the ears first. And that'll happen. I just use probably about that much, just the palm size. Get all around her ass and her tail real good. Sounds disgusting, but is what it is. All in her little butthole. Trying to keep the water out of their ears. They can get uh, ear infections like that. Oh, 
taste of water, have a little fun with her. Okay, pup. Come here, let's lift your butt. Good girl. How's that camera doing? Come here. No, 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 no. Come here, Storm. Here. Come here. Come here. Good girl. So now we're just gonna dry off a little bit. But like I said, we're gonna go for a walk. And uh, that hot summer weather will will do the rest of its work. See how that ear worked out. A lot cleaner, a lot cleaner, mama doggy. So most of that stuff is out of her ear. So that's good. But like I said, later on tonight, we will go ahead and finish that off. But right now, we're gonna go for a walk around the neighborhood and get her completely dried off and then come back and brush her teeth. like I said why we're going for a walk right after we wash it's one it's summertime so it's gonna dry her off pretty easily and then it's also gonna file her nails down a little bit so that's a good thing usually we would go for a run but it's a little bit too hot for that come on pup so the pepper spray that I found on the ground is actually dog repellent <laughs> it's legit dog repellent and it looks like he's used it before or she whoever this is so hopefully they don't get attacked by a dog today because their dog repellent was four houses down on the ground if i see him i'll give it back to him but you know they definitely hit that button before you can tell so how you're going to introduce this to your dog is just going to put a little bit of it on your finger and then you're just going to let them smell it let them get used to it then you just stick it in her mouth and Rub it on her teeth. Once you get the, uh, then they start getting used to it, you can use the little finger thing. Good girl, puppies. And you just massage the dog's teeth just like you normally would yourself. It's really good girl, mamas. Make sure you get those bottom teeth real good. Good girl. All in her gums. Good girl, puppy. And behind. Make sure you try to get behind. That's really all you gotta do. Here, you want some water? Come here. For a treat. So yeah guys, that's pretty it. That's pretty much it. You're just gonna do that for about two to three minutes and uh, brush your dog's teeth and then rinse this thing off. Put the cap back on the toothpaste. You know, normal stuff I shouldn't have to explain, but you never know. Uh, if you wanna use the toothbrush, you can go ahead. I never really use it because um, she just doesn't want this thing stuck in her mouth. So I usually just either use my finger or use these little finger brushes. They work pretty good. Um, and that's about it. It's it's really that simple. So, yeah, that's it, guys. If uh, you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. Storm really appreciates it. We want to start, uh, we want to get these dog views uh, up to like a million. I want to get a million views on a dog video. And then I will do a giveaway for some dog treats, dog uh, leashes, like the one you've seen on her today. Uh, but get me to those million views, guys. I, it would be me in the world. And uh, that is what's going to make me continue to make dog training videos because once in a while we don't get a lot of views on them and it's a lot of work to do these dog training videos. Uh, especially when you're doing them yourself, you don't have a camera person. So 
Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. You love your new toy, huh? She's loving life. She's dogging. Straight dogging.